All right, so now we got all the top done. Uh, the next stop will be to take off the uh, fan and some of this in the front because I want to do the uh, Vanos uh, uh, high pressure line and it's up front. So we're going to take that loose. And then once we get all that loose, we'll be able to find us a place over here on the driver's side where we can put our engine lift. The passenger side already has this lift. So we just got to find a spot over here that's good to pick up, balance the motor out. And then once we get uh, it lifted up, we'll take the uh, motor mounts loose and we can go to the bottom. All right, so now we're on to getting our fan out so we can have access to the front. So it's just these bolts off the front and then we should be able to lift that up and uh, take that out of there. So for these, we're just gonna use the driver. some that hold this bracket on that go this way as well. So we're going to take those four off. So we can't really use the driver for them because we don't have enough access. Or maybe even a key one. We'll see if we can get it in there. So, now we can take our cover off the top. Just find us the rest of that as torch. Now we can hopefully pull up on this fan. So this little pipe is usually in the way. We can kind of hold him out of the way a little bit. We got to kind of work in between the two. So this will have to come over here for us to pull it out. So we got some <coughs> lip pads we'll have to cut. We'll just get a zip tie or two off of this wiring harness. That's the kind of crap that falls down in your motor. Alright, so now we just have to reach down in here and disconnect the electrical connection for the fan. It's right there. So that one comes out, big old electrical connection. Make that up under the coolant line, lay it over here. It should get us clear. And then we just have to pull these lines out of the way here and pull this thing up. So there's a couple tabs that hold it on, it hits in the bottom. So this is the fan. 
about what you do is raise it up. And then down in here is two little tabs I'll show you when I take it out. And it's got two little flip tabs that have to be flipped. It's kind of hard to get to. We're going to take that out of the way. That goes to the air intake. Get your hand in there. And you can flip these two little tabs. Hopefully, it'll come out of there. I'm catching on stuff as it's coming. Can be done. Just gotta watch all your hoses. And out comes the fan. When it's sitting in the car, the tabs are like that, locked in. So to get it to pull out and clear the hoses, you raise it up out of the catches, push these in, and then they'll clear the hoses. For this one, it usually hangs on something, so what I end up doing is actually just popping it loose. So as you get it out, just uh, push back on it and pop it out of there, and then it falls down in the motor, but you can get it back. When you go to install it, a lot of times you can get it in there with it still connected. But that's how you get your fan out. Now it can go to the side. So now, with the fan out, we can actually see down inside of there. Looks like we got to take a little more off the top. I think the high pressure line is sitting down in that hole. So right now there. we can uh, take the two bolts loose, find us a place to uh, pick up this side because we already got this right here we're going to lift with. Find us an extra bolt or something we can hook to over here. Get our motor mount uh, lift set up, motor bridge, and then we'll be good to go to start on the bottom. All right, so we are ready to start taking the motor mounts off. Gravity will make it just sit on it. So what we gotta do is get in here and break it free. Alright. And we'll go for the other. So it takes a 16 millimeter to get that out. Put it over here to this side. <clears throat> Get our light set up to find our motor mount. See if we can get in there with a swivel. Let's see if we can get in there. Sometimes just because you can see it doesn't mean you can get to it. But unfortunately, Looks like we can see it and get to it. Now we just got to find a place to pick it up on this side. And now that it's free, I can move the water bottle back over here and see if we can't find a good spot on this motor to pick up. Alright, so after getting our motor mount bolts off, we got our bridge set up. And what I did, I couldn't find a bolt over here, but I just strapped around the front of the uh, head and up to the bridge. And then over here, I was able to pick up the clip. So it sits kind of crooked on the car. So you can kind of see it sits like that. But it should lift that motor up. Like I say, all we got to do is just kind of hold it up. Once we get the frame and everything out and the oil pan off, we'll put a little support in there anyway, just while we're working, things will be more stable. But there we go. Now all we got to do is just get our light, shine it on our bolt down there. And what we want to do is just raise the motor up, which you probably can't see in the video. But we just want to raise the motor up 
until it starts moving on that bolt down there. And then we'll know we got it in play. So it looks like that's holding it. And we'll do the same on this side. Go ahead and tighten it up until we start picking up the motor. Now you can probably look this way and see when the motor lifts up. Then ought to have our motor held. And when we take the frame loose, we'll know for sure. So there we go. Everything's done on top. And we are ready to lift the car up and head for the bottom of the car.